Hello everyone. So uh, this is the map that I created and I put it in Blender and I'm just going to go ahead and block out the floor plan here in Blender. Uh, and the first step to doing that is um, to creating is creating a new plane mesh just like this. And then going in and It's being sticky for some reason. I'm not sure why. Uh, so going in and uh, just taking one of these verts and making it the basis of your entire mesh. So we're going to go ahead and um, use control. By holding down control, you can get it to click along. It's not really a grid snap. Just like with Unity, it uh, if you get misaligned, it snaps to the misaligned version. So, got to be careful about that. But just holding control can make it so that you can block this stuff out real quick. And if you would like to have a different amount of clickiness, you can do that by zooming in uh, or zooming out because it will always click to the grid that is being shown. It's hard to see the grid that's being shown um, on my screen because the image I'm showing is actually quite solid, but I can actually turn it down. Here it is. Uh, there we are. And you can see that there is a grid in the background, and that's what it's snapping to. Don't need that last point, just need to. And then I can grab this and just hit F, and it'll, cr and it'll turn into a face. The problem is it turned into a face upside down, so I need to flip the direction. So this will be the floor that we've created, right? And that's easy enough, but we also want to block out the space here. Now, as you might remember, the space for the first floor is shaped slightly differently, and that means that we want to be a little bit careful. We can't follow the second floor floor plan exactly, but we do want to follow it to the extent where uh, it makes sense, and that would be something like this. And then we can just select these guys and make them a face. There you go. So there, we block out the first floor. Now if we want to block out the second floor, we just do the same stuff, but uh, we need to make sure that the verts are a little bit higher up. Now the biggest shared wall here is definitely these guys. So let's bring them up. Oh, sorry, these guys. Uh, so let's bring them up. Um, there we are. How high do we want to go? Well, let's go ahead and make every floor three meters. So that would be one, two, three, three meters. And now we can just do the exact same thing. So extending, make sure that you have the same angle here because they're the same wall. So this part might be might require me to do editing because I don't know if oh, I got it. That perfect. So just bring it all the way down to there. Nope. There. And bring it up. And it doesn't perfectly match the drawing, but that's expected because uh, I just drew the drawing freehand. It's not like I, I was careful about it or anything. Now these lines here are not part of the actual floor, but they are critical to defining the window. So we're going to fill in that face, and that's going to be the window that we're going to need later. Uh, however, this here is part of the floor in terms of it coming down, uh, but as you might remember, we, we're going to have some, some vertical silliness going on. That vertical silliness is not on this side of the wall, so we're going to go ahead and move through. Now, that final point wasn't actually needed, but we can just merge them together. Uh, we don't need this face. Goodbye. Um, goodbye. I also don't need that particular edge. And uh, that means that we've got the second floor mapped out a little bit, and we can just fill it in like so. But of course the face is upside down, so you flip it. And now we have the two floors mapped out, and that was nice and easy and quick. And you can see that we have a nice line where the two floors have matching walls. Um, now those walls aren't going to be uh, continuous, but they are going to exist in the form of uh, pillars or whatever, demarcations of some kind. Now there are a couple more details that we should fill out before we call it a day, and one of those is going to be the elevator. Because as you remember, the elevator has a second floor walkway that comes out like this. 
Uh, now, the downside of this is that it's not going to be very pretty, uh, and it's never going to work quite right, so we're not even going to try. Uh, but instead what we're going to do is we're just going to just draw it out here and leave it. Um, but we need to draw it out properly, which means we're needing to add in something like this. Uh, and then we can get rid of these guys. So, like that. And then we can just draw that over. And we're not going to be using a control or anything like that because there's no point. Um, we're not connecting up properly. We're just going to leave it like this. And then later on, we will be able to use that as when we convert that over into a walkway. It'll be a walkway mesh, uh, so we won't have to worry about that exactly. But it's facing the wrong way, so flip it. There we go. We could create the upper uh, roof if we'd like, but we're not going to bother. Um, there is one more piece to this puzzle, and that's this guy here. So let's go ahead and extend that out like so. There you go. In the next episode, I'll start to build the pieces that I'll need for making this into an actual internal space. Uh, this is going to be a little bit challenging because none of the rooms are square, but they all have to fit together anyway.